Hi guys, welcome back to the art studio. Today we're gonna custom make this clay jellyfish with Lennar Potter. Come on inside and let's see what kind of art we can create today. Hi guys, welcome back to the art studio. We're here today with Lynn, our potter, and we're gonna be working on a jellyfish out of clay today. We're making this out of the wet clay, so we're about to start molding and shaping this and making it with our own hands. We'll fire it, it'll come out all nice and bisky or ready for glazing, and then we're gonna glaze it, add a bunch of color to it, and we've got a great jellyfish wind chime that we can hang outside, um, hang in the window, anything like that. So Lynn's getting started here, working on some shape in there. Nice organic shape. It's a fun form to start off with as well because it is pretty simple to do and mm. there's no mistakes. That's exactly right. If you haven't worked with wet clay before, like the clay you can actually move around in your hands, like the mud, this is a good project. Lynn's got a few projects that work really well for a first timer or a first time group working with clay. And like you can see, this one is basically how you want to make it. It's abstract, so it's all right if it's a big jellyfish head, a small jellyfish head, anything in the middle. Start adding some kind of loose free form because this texture will give us something to work with when we're doing our glazing as well. You might not think you're an artist, but here at the art studio, we've got all the different tips and tricks to bring that art right out and put it right into a clay jellyfish. Even if you're just glazing or painting some pre-made pottery, we even have a nice selection that Lynn's made already. So you can walk in and pick up something that Lynn's handmade right here at the art studio and start glazing it right away too. So we'll let that stiffen up a little bit because I can always come back to it and fine tune it a little. Have my super duper clay tool here so you don't have to roll out all the coils. It does it for you which is a beautiful thing. So working with this wet clay is, again, what I really enjoy. It's neat. You can see how you can really make whatever shape you want here. Of course, we're doing tentacles again, but uh, they can be tentacles that look like anything, really. And here we go. So from here, we've got basically our components of our jellyfish. Now we're going to heat this up in the kiln once it's dried for about three to four days. Isn't that right, Lynn? Yep. How hot are we going to fire this About to? About 2,000 degrees. About 2,000 degrees. So very hot. When it comes out of that kiln, it's going to be bisque fired and it will have turned white. So it's ready to glaze and start putting some paint on. So we're going to grab a pre-fired jellyfish here and we're going to get glazing and painting it. So you can see this process the whole way through. So we're starting to get some glaze here on this jellyfish head. Working with over 75 different colors that we have here ready to glaze with. They're all glazes, even though sometimes they're called paints. This paint or glaze has all of the color right in the material. So we'll, all we have to do is put it right on there, get a nice shiny coat. I'm putting on another layer here, so we're gonna get a very beautiful, almost pearlescent look here by adding together some transparent glazes and some more opaque glazes as well. All right, well, let's see what they look like when they're all finished up. So here we are, guys. We've got a jellyfish that just came out of the kiln. This one's a great purple one. We did some of our specialty glaze on top there. We've hung it up outside on a nice light breeze day, and here it is, jingling away for us. A great and beautiful project that you hand make yourself with Lennar Potter here at the art studio. This is something you can give us a call for and schedule your time or walk right in and try your luck. We've always got great things ready to sit down and glaze and paint here at the art studio, as well as glass, coffee, and guest artists that come in throughout the month. Check out our website at keysartstudio.com and come and give Lynn and I a visit here at the art studio. Thank you guys, have a great day.